All right, guys. So I'm in Boot Barn, and uh, I need to get a new hat. And that is what we're here to do in Boot Barn. So I heard you guys have. Uh, so you guys have hats here. Oh yeah. Well, that's good because uh, I got a hat here last time, but I need to get a new hat. And I don't know what to get. Now, see, I'm going to be in Tombstone, Arizona. Okay. And I'm kind of finding something in between the $30 range. Now, are you looking for, like, straw or more like the felt? Um, okay, the felt, are they more expensive? Typically, yeah. Um, and, and it depends. It, every hat's going to be different based on quality. Um, it all depends on their X rating. Each brand has their own X rating. Mm -hmm. The higher the X rating, the higher the quality of the hat. So, typically, my felt hats, the lower 3X, typically run about 80. Um, but you can get up to 5X, 10X, depending on the brand, and they'll run up to like 250. Uh, even even a thousand, just depending on the quality. Oh yeah, I get it. <coughs> the straw uh. hats kind of run the same way. Um, they all do have their own X rating as well. Most of them start around the thirty to forty dollar range um, for the lower quality hats. Higher quality, like the resist dolls here, these guys get up to like two hundred almost. So it's, oh, it's all contingent upon the quality. What would be a good hat for, uh, like, to kind of keep cool from the Arizona weather? Like, I'm going to Tombstone, right. so. So you're definitely going to want a straw, because the felt hats, none of them are vented. So oh. it's, it, they're going to hold the heating. Okay. Any of the straw hats that have, like, the, the, the larger ventings, mm -hmm. they're definitely going to keep you a lot cooler than what, you know, something like... I have these Stetsons here where they just have the small vents. You oh, really okay. don't get much airflow from those. Mm -hmm. You're definitely going to get a better vent with the, the ones that are braided vented like that. And I have a ton of different like Bailey style. Oh, okay. Um, and these ones, they, they, they typically run, you know, anywhere from 70 to, I've seen them, I think like 40. Just depending, like I said, again, on the quality, so... Hmm. Hat's gonna run different. Different. Oh yeah, I get it. See, it would be cool because of because uh, of like you know the history and stuff with mm -hmm. the OK Corral and all that. Oh yeah, yeah. It yeah. would probably be cool for one of these, but I assume they're not gonna be. Uh... Yeah, and typically back then, like you've seen a lot of people like way back in the day, like the days of Don Holiday, they wore like the flat brim style. Like, like that style? No, more like, more like these ones over here. Although these ones now are typically generally women's hats. Uh-huh. But they typically had a little bit of a larger brim on them, but they were still like the flat brim style. I didn't know that. Yeah. Because you always see like the 10-gallon hats. <laughs> yeah, like in... and 10-gallon is typically more of a, like a Texas thing. Oh. So, uh, you know, a lot of the, the, the old days back in Texas, they had like the big 10 gallon hats, and that was more of like a sign of status. Oh, okay. And the bigger the hat, the more money you had, kind of thing. So. Oh, alright. <laughs> that makes sense. It's definitely more of a status thing. Today, though, they've gone more with like the cattleman style, so, you know, the, the definitely like the more cattleman crease in them. Um, and honestly, as far as like the brim, it's a matter of preference. Like some people will do like the squared off or like the rounded style here. But See, that's honestly a matter of preference. I don't even know like, because is there some way you can actually measure the head like to know how... <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So I have a chart up here that will tell me like what, what size typically. Uh, We'll get a measurement on you real Because I'm actually really serious. I need to get a hat, so. Yeah, so we'll do a quick measurement on you here. Okay. So typically, they say about an inch above the ears, inch above the eyebrow. And then I check my little chart here. 
And it looks like you're right around seven and three eighths. Seven and three eighths. Okay. So, which typically hats usually start around six and seven eighths, and then I have seven and three quarters is typically like the biggest size that I carry, but I do have some seven and three eighths. Um, and I actually, I want to say I probably have a couple of seven and five eighths in stock. Not a lot, but there are definitely a couple. But yeah, that one. This is uh, one of the five eighths. Is that a three eighths or five eighths? That's three eighths. So that would probably be right around your size there. Mm -hmm. Well, then again, I could, because I just like, uh, I just moved to Beaver Falls, so um, mm -hmm. what I could do is I probably can get something somewhere a little cheaper for now, you know, at least. Right, yeah. But at least now you know your size, so you know where, you know, you need to be as far as, like, hats go. And I'm definitely getting a hat today. I just, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out, because, uh, I had a hat similar to kind of like the more rodeo hats, mm -hmm. but I don't even know if they have, like, uh, it looks like they kind of are a little different now. Yeah, and it depends. Like, typically your rodeo hats have, like, this cattleman style crease in them, so they're going to be, you know, more aerodynamic. Um, most of the people do, like, the quarter horse. Um, which would be something closer to this. Uh huh. How the divots are closer in the front, but it's kind of spread further apart in the back, just for more aerodynamics. Now, typically, they'll wear their sides up a little bit sharper, almost straight up and down. Okay. Like a quarter horse style. But there's dozens of different styles um, as far as like crowns go. The most common are, you know, your cattleman style. Um, which is basically a crease like this, or the teardrop, which is more for like your fedora style hats. So something like this, where it basically just looks like a big teardrop. They also call this a pinch front, just because it's like the front is pinched in. Oh, okay. So, just depending. Um, there are a couple different styles. This one here is called your brick. Basically just looks like someone set a brick on top. Yeah. And then I do have, I might have one with what they call a telescope, but I'm not sure if I have one in the straw or not. I don't, I don't think I have any of those. At least in the middle. I think this is the one that I got before. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay, yeah, they're all 50.99. Um, hmm, I'm gonna try this. I know, do you think you can hold this for me real quick? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna try this one real quick. This is actually more of an Indiana Jones. Yeah. What do you think? Those are nice. And I like those because it's, um, it's what they call a crushable. Oh, so, okay. it's not gonna get messed up if you, like, lay something on top of it or anything like that. And they're pretty easy to fix if they do get, like, smashed or anything like that, so. Yeah. And they typically, they'll typically hold their shape, but it's not, like, they're not rigid and hard like those other ones. You can feel, like, the flexibility in them. Yeah. So they're a little more comfortable that way, too. It is. Like, this, I think, would be, like, would look nice, but I think this is a little, probably too much for the desert sun. Yeah, the toasted palms, as you can see, like the venting on those, it's not as like vented as like most of the other ones. So you don't get that airflow that you would get with like a normal, like regular straw with like the larger venting in them. It's a little bit harder that way. It's... I don't know. I think I think I kind of found my. Oh yeah, yeah. And again, those ones they're nice. I have um, a couple different styles in those too. Um, underneath, there's a couple like in the Cody James as well. Um, which, honestly, my first hat I bought was one of those Crushables. This one? No, it was the, uh, it was the black version of this one here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was the first hat that I had bought whenever I had first started here. and That one, I, I wore it for about a year. I loved it. Yeah, this one right here, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which... You know, same thing. Oh, don't worry about it. But yeah, those ones are nice because they're they're typically um, 
small, medium, large is, is basically the size they come in. So there's a little bit more give to them. Mm -hmm. So if you went a little snugger, you could still like, basically you could still fit it. You could get them to stretch a little bit easier. They're mainly wool though, that's the only thing. So they are gonna retain a little bit more heat. So it's, that's the only thing. As far as like summertime, they're not too bad. But again, they are gonna at least keep the sun off your eyes and everything else and off your face. So that does yeah. help. Oh, I think this is the one you're going to get. Uh, yeah. I'm going to get this one. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So that was my, um, I literally was actually serious when I said I bought a hat, but I wanted to do a sequel to this because they're going to be the uh, forefront, the start of my new series called the Arizona Circle, nice. which is literally a circle around Arizona. Right. And I got to make sure, because we're going to Grand Canyon, we're going to the uh where is it Sedona we're going to Flagstaff or Flagstaff or staying in mm -hmm. and we're going to Winslow Arizona to stand on a corner oh yeah <laughs> nice that's the only reason to be in the town such a fine sight to see <laughs> oh I I'm gonna see how fine it is and what's so fine about it oh, yeah, yeah definitely and it's like, um, it's funny because like in the Winslow, Arizona town, it's like that is the whole point of them, like, there's, that's the only point to be in that town. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> but someone had said, like, you know, I guess when the Eagles wrote it, they said that like, uh, oh, this is a great spot. Why? I have no idea. But it's a nice spot. Write a song about it. Why not? You know, and and Winslow was like, "Let's take that." Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sure they were like, "Yeah." Any any notoriety they can get, I'm sure they'll take. Cool. All right, man. Thank you so much. Absolutely. And. Uh,